guys, something terrible has happened. I got my hair cut. Ah! So I want to apologize for dressing like a bum because I'm in a t-shirt and athletic shorts because after this, I'm going to play tennis with my friends. Also, it's 80 degrees out. What is this craziness? Since I'm already wearing ridiculous clothing right now, I'm going to start off the questions with what is the most embarrassing thing that you own. Guys, I proudly present my Emmett Cullen t-shirt. That's better. What is a pet peeve of mine? Definitely when people chew with their mouths open and they smack their lips. Oh, I could get them so much. So this is a passage from 1984. It's a beautiful thing, the destruction of words. Of course, the great wastage is in the verbs and adjectives. But there are hundreds of nouns that can be got rid of as well. It isn't only the synonyms, there are also the antonyms. After all, what justification is there for a word which is simply the opposite of some other words? A word contains simply the opposite in itself. Take good, for instance. If you have a word like good, what need is there for a word like bad? Ungood will do just as well. Better. Because it is an exact opposite, which the other is not. Or again, if you want a stronger version of good, what sense is there in having a whole string of vague, useless words like excellent, splendid, and the rest of them? Plus good covers the meaning. Double plus good if you want something stronger still. Of course we use those forms already, but in the final version of Newspeak there will be nothing else. In the end, the whole version of... In the end, the whole notion of goodness and badness will be covered by only six words. In reality, only one word. Don't you see the beauty of that, Winston? It was Big Brother's idea originally, of course. 